Comparing a player to Calvin Johnson is lofty praise. It's even more unheard of to compare someone in their second season to one of the greatest receivers in NFL history, but that is what we are doing with DK Metcalf of the Seattle Seahawks. Metcalf was drafted by the Seahawks out of Mississippi with the 64th overall pick in the 2019 draft. And get this, eight receivers were actually taken ahead of him in that draft. And the supposed ninth best receiver from that class is putting up numbers and production that has people wondering if he is the next Megatron. Without even focusing on their play on the field, there are striking similarities between their body measurements and combine results. Johnson is 6'5 with a 6'10 wingspan, weighs 239 pounds. Metcalf is 6'3 and a half, with a 6'9 wingspan and weighs 228. They're not only massive receivers, but they also have speed with tremendous strength. At their combines, Johnson's 40 yard time was 435, Metcast was 433, which was the fastest 40 at the NFL combine of anyone weighing 225 plus pounds since that data was officially tracked in 2003. The similar combines didn't stop there. Both guys demonstrated elite jumping skill to go along with dominant strength and speed. Megatron's vertical, 42 and a half inches, Metcalf, 40 and a half. For the broad jump, Johnson leaped 139 inches, Metcalf 134, which placed them in the 99th and 97th percentiles respectively. Those measurements and combine numbers explain why both players torch defenses with various techniques. Whether it's bowling by a corner with straight speed, out muscling other guys for position on an in-breaking route, or just going up and winning 50-50 balls. Johnson and Metcalf are a D coordinator's worst nightmare. They can just beat you in so many different ways. Now, one of the biggest knocks on Metcalf's game coming out of Ole Miss was that he was too one-dimensional as a route runner. Scouts and pundits criticized him for being laterally challenged. They focused on his infamous three-cone drill disaster at the Combine and said he was not a first-round pick. Those experts failed to realize, though, that some of the best receivers ever specialize in a handful of routes. Receivers like Calvin Johnson. Megatron earned his way onto most people's Mount Rushmore of receivers by being elite at just a few routes. In his final season in the league, 2015, just four patterns combined for nearly 75% of his total routes run that year. Those four routes, goes, posts, slants, and curls. With these, it's all about size, speed, positioning, and timing, all things that Metcalf has in spades too. Johnson and Metcalf have such next level size, strength, speed, and leaping ability, they don't really need to get creative to beat defenses. In fact, the defenses are the ones that need to get creative. When you try to play aggressively and press them at the line, Johnson and Metcalf beat you with deep strength, speed, or both. When you play conservatively and give them space underneath, they make the catch and are impossible to bring down as they rack up yards after with, again, strength, speed, or both. And even if you manage to defend and cover them well, the quarterback can just throw it up and let Johnson or Metcalf make a play on the ball with their all-around athleticism. Both receivers are viewed as just give them a chance to make the play type of guys. A 50-50 ball with them isn't really 50-50. Now, you might be saying combine numbers are one thing. Lots of guys do well at the combine combine, measure well, but can't perform in the actual game. How do these two compare with actual stats and production on the field? Well, it's still early in Metcalf's career, but as of right now, he is on the same pace as Megatron at the start of his career and actually a little bit ahead of him. Through their first 21 games in the NFL, here's how the two wideouts compare. Johnson had 73 catches for 1,287 yards at 17.6 yards per reception and eight receiving TDs. Metcalf, 80 catches for 1,396 yards at 17 and a half yards per reception and 12 receiving touchdowns. Those yard per catch numbers specifically separate them from other receivers in the league. For reference, 17 and a half yards per reception would place Metcalf 37th all time if he never played another down. It's just one more example of how hard it is for defenses to deal with these two players. Whether they catch a ball deep or a short ball, they're gaining insane yards on that play. After all this, if you still think I'm crazy or wrong, just listen to all pro safety Jamal Adams who tweeted out, 
DK is the new era Megatron. I'm not arguing with anybody. Have a great Tuesday. Every team in the NFL who is not the Seattle Seahawks is desperately hoping that Adams and me are wrong about this comparison because if not, they're in for a long decade or so scheming around how to slow down DK Metcalf, the next Calvin Johnson.